Hey, my elevators. Uh, just stopped in to kind of briefly discuss some things. Um, about a month or so ago, I had a sit down with friends. Um, and listening to Kevin Gates, you know, Kevin Gates talks about having a sit down and the purpose of having a sit down, right? But prior to that, my recollection or what I thought, you know, the purpose of a sit down was to walk away with an understanding or a different perspective, you know, to clear the air. I assumed that when you have a sit down, we leave on um, a common ground, right? You know, there was a compromise reached. There was an understanding. Um, we walk away with clarity. This is what I assumed. But that was not what happened with my sit down, right? So after that, it took me some time to kind of process, get my feelings together, understand. Here it is, you know, I'm saying, I understand that this is what you thought. I understand that this is how you felt, period. I apologize, but that wasn't the intention. And this this is the reason why I said or did what I did. It's not justification when you explain your why or your rationale. No one is justifying, you know, or, or sliding or discounting what was felt. So that initial sting or that hurt or, you know, the misunderstanding, when someone provides clarity on that, that's not excusing the behavior or saying that, you know, you have no right to feel this way. But the same way that, you know, this person had a feeling, somebody else had a reason why. And I think that when we are emotionally mature and intelligent, we can kind of hear differently when our feelings are not so hurt or when we're not emotionally invested in the situation. So given time, allowing it to kind of settle and some time to pass and things like that. And you can go back and kind of replay the situation um, in your mind and hopefully just hear the other person's heart. But the purpose of this video is to let us know or to bring forth that just because you have a misunderstanding with friends, people, loved ones, a spouse or whatever, and you do have a sit down, there's a possibility that you guys don't walk away on the same page or have a good relationship after that or be on one accord. And the truth is everyone needs to be okay with that. So I walked away with an understanding that my relationship with these people would never be the same again because of what I did and my explanation for what I did wasn't good enough for, I won't say forgiveness, but wasn't good enough to restore the relationship or for us to go back to things being the way that they were. Since the sit down, you know, I haven't talked to them or any of that, but there's no hard feelings. Um, it taught me some things, you know, it absolutely taught me that I want to be around people that I can apologize to, give them my reasoning and my rationale for why I did what I did. And they're able to hear with their heart and not their mind, right? Um, not having somebody else in their ear who don't want to deal with me anymore or be my friend or be around me because of what I did. We all make mistakes and we get to decide whether or not we deal with people like we do have that choice. But when relationships are worth something to you, be sure to consider the person's heart and what they said and the other side, you know, like there's always another side in any situation. So um, we don't always come to terms, agreement, um, and end up in a peaceful space when we have a sit down and that's okay. 
Uh, but to walk away and not have any hard feelings and you learn a lesson, um, you learn from this experience, you can employ what was learned here into future relationships and dynamics. I feel like that was the benefit. I feel like that was the plus. I feel like that's what was supposed to happen. And all is well. So, the you know, when we have sit downs or when we have come to Jesus meetings with, you know, friends, families and loved ones, we don't always end on a good note. We don't always uh, walk away with us being on the same page. And that's OK. We just have to learn how to move that energy. What do we need to do to move that energy? And for me, I absolutely said that I was glad, you know, that I was able to share my peace. Um, and get it off my chest. I don't think I was fully heard, but even if I was heard, the people that I was talking to, they have a right to decide that they no longer, you know, want to be friends or whatever, you know, um, and that's okay. My job as the person that I am trying to be my higher self is to understand that I don't have to hold a grudge. Um, I can be okay you know, with the status of where we are right now and all is well. So um, we don't always, you know, walk away laughing and kikiing after a sit down. The relationship may not return to the way that it was after a sit down, but that's okay. Um, you know, things may have ended the way that they did because the soul contract ended, you know, it was time for this to happen. Um, who knows? Like, we, we really don't know, but it's not for us to take it personal. Um, but absolutely learn something from it. And the truth is, sometimes the people in the situation, they don't really know you. They don't, they don't know, they don't know you. They really don't know you. They can't know you because to know you would have been to hear, you know, differently or to be like, would that person really have done that or said that in this manner? Or do you think they said it, you know, maliciously or whatever? But maybe the way it was given to them and the picture that was painted to them from the beginning is what planted that seed. So in any event, you know, I learned something um, that was very, very helpful to me when dealing with people and friends and all of that. So I just wanted to share that sometimes we go in situations thinking that we're going to come out on top or things will be different or to be rectified. And that's not always the case. But don't take it personal. Um, continue to pray and just do things to be your highest self, become your highest self and try not to hold and store that energy. Until my next video, I thank all of my elevators for uh, listening and just kind of following uh, my channel um, and just being along this journey with me as I grow. So until next time, continue to elevate.